Hello there, Mirella here, and today I will teach you guys, well, I will show you, I'm not going to teach you anything, um, because I'm no teacher of painting, I barely started myself, I'm going to show you how to paint this, how I painted this human toady. So I started off by using a piece of fabric, and I've just uh, stuck it to a board, and then I've used a few layers of uh, gesso primer. I don't know if you call it a primer. Anyways, I did not want to use any canvas and I wanted to see how it works with just normal fabric and it works just as fine. There's no difference. I did have to use a few layers of canvas just to make sure that the paint would not sip through, but hey, it works just fine. And I've also worked with another painting. Well, this one will come later on where I've used normal paper, just watercolor paper, and I've primed it with gesso and it works just fine. It did do some, it did have some warping in the beginning, but then it turned out just fine. So as you can see, I'm starting off by uh, laying the main colors of the bird. I've watched quite a few videos and I've watched quite a few pictures and I did practice painting this bird a few times before in my sketchbook just because you don't find this bird in Spain and it's a tropical one I guess it's from it's a Cuban toddy so you're not gonna find it in the wilderness so I've just decided to practice a few times and then once I got inspired by it and I learned more or less where the colors are I've decided to go for it now um, it's been a year since I started oil painting and I just fell in love with it the moment I started. I've been a mainly watercolor painter and pencil painter, a pencil drawer my entire life. But and I, and I've always been afraid of trying out oils, but then it turned out that I just loved them. They were so th this medium is so relaxing and I find such joy in having the vibrancy of these colors just showing off so yes I'm still in love with it still learning but hey I got a few tricks on the way Um, what I can tell you about the colors well I actually bought the color the main colors I'm using in this painting I actually bought them for painting butterflies because there's this wonderful artist called happy D artist who uses one of the main colors here is the vibrant turquoise and vibrant green and she uses them for butterflies and I just fell in love with the way she paints them but it turns out ever since I bought that color <laughs> I have not used it yet and I was just looking at it the other day and I was like listen it bothers me to just have it there and not actually use it so I've decided to give it a chance and then I was just looking around and I was like well I don't really feel like painting butterflies yet just because I'm not at that level of being sure enough of myself as to paint them without using any reference so decided to just skip on them and paint a bird instead just because I find myself most comfortable painting them and well i just fell in love with the way colors lay over each other and how vibrant they get and i just found myself enjoying painting this bird um i'm not a professional and i do not sell these paintings most of them are just presents i give around i hand over to friends and family and it's just my way of relaxing I'm actually an English teacher, so that's how I get, that's how I earn my money. <laughs> well, anyways, let's skip on that. Um, what I can tell you is I've, uh, for now, I'm keeping my backgrounds quite simple just because I'm not comfortable enough yet with this medium and creating backgrounds. And I do actually find uh, backgrounds a bit concerning just because I get so overwhelmed by thinking oh my god how much would I have to work on them so I just dec decided to keep them away for now and 
not to work on them too much and i still struggle with painting birds legs <laughs> i'll have to get over that someday but not for now well anyways um i hope you guys like this painting and i hope it brings you joy watching this bird as much as it brought me joy painting it and meanwhile i would like to talk to you by about by materials now i do find myself that I, uh, going very often to to the art store just because it's one of the places that brings me most joy and whenever i get in there i always think before i get there i think i need this 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 and this and then it turns out i get there and i forget all about it so mm, my my goal lately has been to just write on my spe sketchbook at the end of my sketchbook the materials I actually need because as soon as i get there i fall in love with everything new so i've decided to do that and actually um i do have just like i told you before i actually bought this green and that turquoise those two colors i bought them mainly to paint butterflies and then once i got home i turned so shy and i have not actually painted a butterfly yet ever since i bought those colors so i guess i don't know if it happens to you guys too or if it just happens to me that you go to the art store you just buy materials for a good reason you have you know you're gonna need them you know you're gonna use them but then you get home and you get so shy and so afraid of actually wasting that material that it ends up just staying there and i don't know whether you guys feel the same way as i do but i feel guilty i feel guilty for buying materials and not using them or being afraid to use them and actually it they actually get me to the to the moment of to uh a state of failure because i feel like i failed because i bought it and now i'm not capable of actually using it then i actually do find that i have this constant feel feel of guilt and of oh my god do i really need this paint i do actually ask myself because i tried not to i try <laughs> and then i fail at it um i try not to buy more than i need but then I just love that store. I love the way the owners treat me because they always treat me nicely and I always get discounts. So that helps buying even more. But anyways, um, I've decided to actually give use to all the colors that I own. Even the ones that I feel most guilty using because I feel like I'm going to waste them. But anyways, I actually think that a paint you're not using is more wasteful I mean you're actually wasting it more by not using it and just letting it dry and if you actually use it um, this has been it I hope you guys like my little chit chat and I hope you guys like the painting of the bird and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial or next video bye